Hello, my lovely Leo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, any of you lovely folks dealing with a Leo romantically. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you click into the video is when you're meant to hear the messages. But I do always like to remind you, Leo, it is a general reading, so it is possible some of it resonates, some of it doesn't, maybe all of it does, maybe none of it does, that's totally okay. You are more than welcome here to take what works and just let go of anything that doesn't quite fit for you and your circumstances. Circumstances. And I also want to remind you, Leo, if you are new to my channel, this is a very special channel because it is a Leo only channel. I am a very proud Leo son, and all that I do on this channel is readings for the sign of Leo because you guys are awesome and I love you and you're amazing. And I don't know what else to say. It's just you guys are the best. <laughs> so, yeah, you're very welcome here. You've come to the right place. Like, join our awesome community. We are like super great here. Like, just check out the comments. Everybody is lovely and amazing. So, feel free to say hello. And to those of you returning, you know, I love you guys so much. I just. I, I just love this community. I, I've said this before. I feel like a little bit of a broken record, but I just feel like so much gratitude for you guys. Just the comments, the love, the support that you show me and you show each other is just everything that I want because let's all just make the place, like the world a little bit of a better place. Let's show each other love, compassion, kindness, all that good stuff. And I see all that in the comments and it just totally warms my heart, you guys. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep being you because you're awesome. All right, Leo, so we're going to jump in today. I'm going to start it out with the, um, what is this called? Moonology. <laughs> the Moonology Oracle deck. I don't think I've used this deck in a little while. So um, yeah, we're just going to get some overall messages and then we're going to get into the tarot. So what do we got for Leo today? What have we got? Oh, okay, we'll take it. What is that? Nothing is yet set in stone, Leo. First message came jumping out. Now, I feel like it's actually significant because this card went like flying out of the deck. I almost feel like there's something here that's not set in stone and maybe there's like some unexpected information coming in, something that you weren't anticipating that could potentially lead to a change in circumstances because if something is not set in stone, it means that the situation can change. We're not at the final outcome yet. So let's see what else we've got. What else have we got? That's very interesting, okay. The answers you need are coming, okay. So you're in a place right now, Leo, where you're gathering more information about a situation involving your love life. Now, the good thing is that it does look like the answers that you need are gonna be coming into the picture. And I suspect here that these answers are going to help you decide what direction you wanna move in, okay? Let's get one more of these and then we'll pull some tarot. Let's get one more. Conclusions are within reach, okay. So once you get the answers that you need, Leo, the conclusions that you need are going to be in reach. So this is good. It's like whatever information is coming in for you right now, it's going to help you navigate the situation because at the moment, you might not be sure what you wanna do. You might not be sure what you wanna choose, what direction you wanna move in, but there is gonna be more information that's coming in and it's going to let you come to a conclusion here about what your next steps are. So that is very interesting. So let's get into the tarot, Leo, and see where this goes. Tell me what's coming toward Leo right now. What is coming toward Leo? Two of Pentacles. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I mean, Two of Pentacles underneath nothing is set in stone is kind of perfect because the Two of Pentacles is kind of weighing the pros and cons of a situation. Do I wanna do this? Do I wanna do that? You might be looking at the situation from different perspectives. You might be saying, okay, so if I do this, what outcome would that get? And if I do that, what outcome would that get? So you're not sure, you're kind of going back and forth here trying to figure out how you really feel and what you wanna do. Tell me more about what's coming toward Leo right now. <laughs> Queen of Wands, <laughs> another fire sign. Uh, you could be dealing with another fire sign romantically, another Leo, maybe an Aries or a Sagittarius. But I also feel like what's coming towards you is um, passion and purpose, because this is a very fiery, passionate energy. And I feel like whatever is coming into your life right now is going to connect more with your sense of passion. And maybe that's the decision you have to make. It's like, where is your heart pulling you? What direction do you want to move in? What choice can you make here that's really going to make you happy? Okay. What else? What else for Leo? And then the lovers. Okay. So we've got this beautiful Gemini energy. Obviously there is love here for you, Leo, but the really awesome thing here that I love, and you can kind of see it in the imagery. Do you see how with this lover's energy, it's like there's a choice. You can either take this pathway or you can take that pathway, right? And so I feel like this just kind of confirms that you're gonna be have to, or you're gonna have to be choosing what direction you move in when it comes to love. There is love here and um, 
and I don't know, maybe you've got two people. Uh, it could be that, we'll see. But you're definitely gonna be making a choice, but it does lead to love here, which feels really good. So let's actually start to clarify. Tell me what this Two of Pentacles is for Leo, please. What is the Two of Pentacles? Nine of Wands, okay. Deciding whether you wanna to continue to fight for something or not. That could be an issue for some of you. The Nine of Wands is like, you're on your journey, you're going after what you want, but there's some sort of obstacle that gets thrown in your path. This tends to indicate wanting to persevere. So it's almost the sense of like, should I keep trying or is it time to give up? That might be a question that you're asking yourself. What else? Four of Cups. Somebody is withdrawing their energy. You could be withdrawing your energy from a situation because maybe you feel like you've been fighting for something that hasn't been getting you the result that you want and now you're pulling back your energy. Maybe there's been an unequal investment in a relationship where you feel like you're the only one who's been fighting for the connection and maybe you don't feel that same level of effort from your person. So some of you could be pulling away for that reason, okay? And then the emperor, you're really recognizing your value and what you deserve, okay? Because I think what we're dealing with here potentially, Leo, is a situation where you feel that the effort that you're putting into it is not getting you the outcome that you want. And you might be looking at it and saying like, you know, I've tried this and that and this and that, but it's not really getting me where I desire. And you're looking at it from the perspective of, you know, does this align with my value? Does this align with my worth? Because to me, like if this is a relationship where you've been the one putting in all the effort and your person isn't, I'm like, okay, what kind of a relationship is that? I just don't understand like personally how a relationship would work that way because a relationship takes all people to make it work, right? Okay, so let's see. Tell me about this queen of wands. Tell me about this queen of wands, the hermit. Virgo energy, lots of uh, deep introspection, lots of thinking. What do I wanna do here, okay? The world, it looks like you're considering wrapping up some sort of cycle and walking away from something, okay? I'm getting the words, the passion has died. So if you are walking away from something, you might be realizing you just don't have the passion for it. And this could be a relationship. If you're not connecting with this from a relationship perspective, it could be about career or anything in your life where you're like, I don't know, I just don't feel passionate about it anymore and I'm gonna walk away. Three of swords, some of you are breaking up, okay? Some of you actually are ending a relationship here, right? The passion has died. You've been on the fence about it for a little while and you're like, I don't know, I just don't see it anymore. I've tried, I really tried. I do think, Leo, if you're ending things with somebody, you can confidently say that you've tried to do what you can to make it work, but it's over. This is like, I don't know, I think you're getting the information you need to realize it's time to end something here with that three of swords. So you might be finally admitting to yourself, like I don't want to invest in this connection anymore and you could be ending things, right? Now the energy can be interchangeable. So this could be happening to you. Like there could be somebody who's breaking up with you because they're feeling this way. So just kind of take it how it might connect for you, Leo. So let's look at this lovers because you're breaking up with something and moving in a new direction. What is this lovers? Oh, that's nice. The magician manifesting a new beginning feeling confident that you have all the tools and skills available to you to get what you want. What else? Knight of Swords, really directly pursuing what you want, okay? There could be an air sign here, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius who has their eye on you and you might have your eye on them, Leo, okay? What else? And then, <laughs> holy smokes, okay. The Tower, so there's also like a big shakeup. It's like, as soon as you choose to move in this new direction, it really rocks your world and leads to big, big changes for you, Leo. That's intense. Uh, let's clarify the tower for Leo. Tell me about this tower energy. Ten of swords. Yeah. Okay. What else? Uh, seven of cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What else? Two of wands. Again, it's that wishy-washy energy, Leo. So I think what is happening here is you're choosing to walk away from somebody who has potentially betrayed you, potentially stabbed you in the back, somebody who couldn't make their mind up about you, super like, I don't know, Leo, like, yeah, some days I'm into it, some days I'm not. You could never really figure out what they feel and you just never felt like they chose you. You could never figure out where do they stand. So you're ending that. That's what needs to end, okay? Any sort of situation where uh, it's been toxic, it's been challenging, there's been confusion, essentially there's been a lack of commitment that needs to stop. And what you need to do is move in a direction towards somebody who is like decisive. Because look at this, look at the focus <laughs> on the Knight of Swords. Do you see this person? They're laser focused on what they want. You know what that's the opposite of? This, somebody who's like, I don't know what I want. And so you need to move toward people and situations and circumstances 
that are um, giving back to you in the way that you are giving to them, Leo. And I do think that there's an air sign here in your midst. Um, and it's like, I don't, I don't know if you meet this person maybe before you even break up with who this wishy-washy person, because it kind of looks like you might meet this air sign and then the tower moment happens. So you might connect with this person. And I'm not saying this is cheating you guys. We can connect with people and feel their energy. And it's not, I'm not saying like any um, lines were crossed here, but you may have met this person and been like, I actually want more. I'm, I want more of this kind of energy somebody who's focused on me, somebody who's choosing me. And then you may be ending things with somebody who's been wishy-washy to pursue a connection with somebody who's a lot more focused and decisive in terms of what they want, okay? Yeah, I'm just getting this really annoying <laughs> kind of energy where you've been trying to give somebody a chance, but they really have been non-committal and they're a bit more... I think the way they describe it to you, Leo, is I'm just really free-spirited. I don't really want to lock things down. I don't really want to, you know get too serious and it's like okay sure that's their prerogative but I don't think that's very attractive to you you're looking for somebody who actually chooses you and I think that you're going to be seeing the clarity in that situation and I think you're ending things with that person and moving towards somebody who is a lot more clearly focused on you so let's look more at this energy of this person six of wands some of you guys might be meeting this person at work okay I'm also getting that the two of you will have a similar level of ambition, okay? What else? Okay. It's new love, Leo, okay? It's new love. So this is just confirming you've got new love coming in, right? If you're single, ready to mingle, new love is coming in. Uh, there's a really good chance this is going to be a very, very nice connection between the two of you. And then the Six of Cups, they kind of feel like home. This is somebody who you're going to make a lot of memories with, somebody where... Um, family and uh home life like making memories nostalgia creating memories feels like it's really important to them they might be quite sentimental so yeah they're gonna want to make memories with you leo what is this person feeling six of pentacles i love it you know why this is so important leo excuse me because um i was saying for some of you you're kind of getting out of like a wishy-washy situation so with this person they're emotionally invested in you and they feel the same thing, right? Like there's a reciprocity here within the emotional connection between the two of you that is so important. Five of Cups. So they might be having some feelings um, related to a disappointing situation. I mean, they could have gone through some sort of disappointment in their life recently and they're working through those feelings. I'm also kind of picking up on that as like, they don't want to disappoint you. They don't want to let you down. They're really excited about you. They want to like make sure they're doing everything that they can to... Um, prove to you that they're here for you. And as I say that, Leo, I wonder if, you know, as you get to know this person, you might be saying to them, yeah, I had this really disappointing situation with my ex where they could never really choose me or pick me. And so this new person wants to make sure that you don't ever feel that level of disappointment again. Okay. What else? And then the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. They're very stable, very reliable, could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, emotionally, they really want to like build this connection and take that time to make sure that there's this beautiful emotional intimacy and stability within this connection. So what actions are this person taking? Page of Swords, coming towards you, wanting to talk. They're very curious about you, Leo. What else? Six of Swords, they're going through some sort of transition in their life as well. They're leaving behind something and they're looking forward to a new beginning with you. What else? And then the Seven of Swords. My goodness. Okay. Um, ooh, so that's interesting. Like there might be a little bit of like self-sabotaging energy or, okay, they might be a little bit, how do I explain this? Like they want to put their best foot forward. So they're trying to like be be who they think you want them to be, which is a little bit challenging because I think people should just, we should just be ourselves and the right person's gonna like want to be with us. There is a little bit of this energy though of them wanting to present themselves in the best light. I wonder if there is something that's gone on for them and they're worried like when you find it out, if you're gonna be disappointed. That's kind of what I'm picking up on. Like, I don't know what this is. Yeah, it just feels like there's something in their life, something in their history. It doesn't have anything to do with you, Leo, but they're scared that once they reveal it to you that you're going to be really disappointed. So they're trying to like put their best foot forward and they don't want to like 
reveal this thing too early in the relationship because they don't want to scare you off. Interesting. What is the seven of uh, swords? What is the seven of swords? Queen of pentacles. I wonder if it's related to money. Okay, what else? Eight of pentacles. What else? And the strength card. Okay, my sense here is that they've had some sort of issue with their money. Okay, I don't know if they made a bad investment or if like what I'm hearing them say to you at some point, Leo, is like, I'm not financially where I want to be right now. And they're kind of worried that that might impact how you feel about them. But the thing is, I feel they're actually working toward building up their finances. So maybe they went through a divorce or a separation. I think we can all kind of agree, like when breakups happen financially, that can be really challenging. Even if you're not married, like let's say you live together and now each of you have got to go like find your own places to live and financially a breakup can be quite a lot. And so it feels like it's related because it's the pentacles, right? It feels like it's related to either career or money, something here where they've taken like a, a hit to their career or a financial hit, but they're working on building that back up. But it's almost as if they don't want to get into the nitty gritty of those details too early in the relationship because they don't want that to show up as a potential red flag. So they're really trying to put their best foot forward. But I do think at some point they're going to reveal something to you and they're going to be scared that it might be a bit of a deal breaker. Um, but they're going to like cross their fingers and hope it's okay. I don't think they're going to hide it from you forever. I just think like, I don't think they're going to be throwing it out there on the first date, <laughs> which makes sense to me. Cause like, I don't know. I don't think we uh, go into a first date revealing all our dirty laundry and everything that's ever happened and stuff like that would be a little bit too intense. And that would personally terrify me if somebody did that. I would be like, that's too much too soon. But I think in the early stages of your relationship, this person will get to the point where they're like, look, I had this experience or that experience. Here's how I'm rebuilding. But I just get the sense that they're going to be scared that you're going to walk away when you find out whatever this is, Leo. I mean, I guess you could if it is a deal breaker, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let's look at you. Eight of Cups, okay? Yeah, this is you obviously walking away from that wishy-washy situation with your ex or soon to be ex. Five of Swords, basically being like, I'm not gonna be in this power struggle anymore. I'm not gonna keep fighting for this when you're not fighting for me. There's a very strong energy here where you're like, I'm no longer investing in situations where somebody's not choosing me, okay? What else? And the Nine of Cups, right? I deserve more. I deserve to be very happy, to feel fulfillment, and I'm just not sticking around with somebody who cannot give that to me. Uh, what are you feeling? Nice. King of Pentacles, very solid, very grounded, very stable. The Death card, ready for the situation to end. Yeah, this is actually really good because to me, it's like emotionally, it feels like the situation, when you decide to end it, Leo, it's going to be done. I think that it just... It, because you've been going back and forth on this for a while, I think you've known that there is a potential uh, potential that you're going to walk away from somebody here. And so once you finally make that decision with the three of swords to disconnect, I think it's going to be easy for you to move on relatively quickly because you've already been detaching from this for a while. Okay. So once you do end that, I feel like emotionally, it, it's going to feel complete for you. Okay. And then the chariot. After that ending, you're just so excited to move forward in your life. Okay, that's gorgeous. So what actions are you taking? The Empress, filling your life with love and abundance, doing things that make you feel happy and passionate. I love it. King of Wands, there you are, Leo. There you are. Basically like beautiful energy, going after what you want. It's gorgeous. Like pursuing your passions in love and probably in other areas of your life. And Two of Swords, basically getting unstuck from this situation where it was like, I don't know, it's not going anywhere, right? I think that in the action here, you're committing to yourself that you're not gonna continue to invest in situations where there's just nothing happening, right? And so with the two of swords, it can represent head versus heart decisions. And I feel like what you're trying to really do here in your action energy is really kind of reconcile your head and your heart so with any decisions that you're making you're able to make those decisions a lot quicker because I just feel like with this x or like I said soon to be x you really just went back and forth and I think you're starting to realize like at some point you need to walk away and with I just kind of feel like with with this x you could have probably walked away sooner and you're looking at it and you're like I don't want to like procrastinate on those kind of decisions moving forward I want to learn what I can from this situation. So in the future, I can make these decisions quicker, right? So what is the advice here for Leo? Seven of Wands. 
stand your ground. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe you try to break up with this person, like this, this ex, right, from the initial energy, and they're like trying to get you back. And you're like, no, I'm finally standing up for myself and speaking my truth. So you do you, Leo. Stand up for yourself, okay? Queen of Swords, beautiful. Be clear about what you want. Set really good boundaries. Communicate your needs. No more sitting back and like waiting for somebody to choose you, right? Go after what you want. Seven of Pentacles, invest in what's going to make you happy, okay? You got to water the right tree. I think some of you guys were watering the wrong tree with your ex. <laughs> and now there's like the opportunity to move forward. Uh, regardless of what happens with this new love, I think you're definitely ending it with somebody though, you know? So you're definitely ending that. And then there is the potential here for this new love as well. So what is the potential outcome here for Leo? What is the potential outcome? Well, that's nice. Emotional fulfillment and happiness with that Queen of Cups. Feeling very emotionally satisfied with what's going on in your life. The Hierophant, love, commitment. Okay, what else? What else? Oh, what else for Leo? And then the Ten of Wands. Wrapping up an emotionally challenging situation, getting closure, letting go of that emotional baggage. So what I see here in the outcome here, Leo, is releasing yourself from anything that's been stressing you out, emotional baggage, person dragging you down, somebody who didn't deserve you. And what's coming in is love and commitment, okay? So there is a committed relationship here. Um, you're gonna obviously have to kind of assess things with this new love because with this new love, like I said, there's gonna be something that I think they're not gonna reveal to you right away. So, but I don't think they're gonna wait forever either. Like, I just don't think they're gonna tell you on the first date, but probably within like the first couple of weeks of dating for sure. And then once you have that information, I think you're gonna be able to figure out, is it a deal breaker or is it not? If it's a deal breaker, obviously you break up and you move on to somebody else. But if it's not a deal breaker, you know, you're gonna explore this connection. Regardless though, you're moving towards commitment. You are moving toward finding your happiness and your emotional fulfillment. So the big thing that you need to do for yourself right now is have good boundaries, stand up for yourself, know what you want, and choose people who choose you back. Okay, Leo? So that's what I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this reading, you guys know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.